what's poppin'? Happy New Year's. I'm glad y'all made it. I'm glad I made it as well. It is 2021. Uh, give a shout out to everybody that worked hard, made it through, um, put their best foot forward last year. And those who didn't, hey, shout out to y'all too. Like, you know, everybody has their own uh, things they're going through. But I hope this year you can be a conqueror and a warrior. And uh, I just want to give you a few New Year's rev resolution tips. That's it. Here's the first tip. I want you to have more confidence. Right? That's it's simple, right? But the thing is, I want you to be able to walk be able to walk by yourself. And that's just your journey. Uh, a lot of times we think we need other people to walk with us to give us uh motivation, but you have to be able to be self motivated to get you through a lot of, of the things that you have saw or seen and what what's gonna come in the future. This video uh supported the movement, try uh did everything to help me become a better person. I wanna give a shout out to y'all. Thank y'all, I appreciate y'all. This is January 4th, it's the new year, and you know every New Year's, we have New Year's resolutions. A lot of them only are there for a few days, a week, or, you know, we try to keep them up, but then we find other things that fill those voids. This one I want you to gradually continue to work on, and these three tips are very simple and simplistic, but they're all for you. Uh, not anybody else, but they're for you, for your self-betterment. And the first one is being confident. And confidence, uh, I want you to be able to walk your own journey alone, right? Now, you have to know yourself to, to know what you are wanting to get out of your own journey, right? Uh, you can't let anybody try to tell you what to do in your journey. You have to find out what works best for you. Uh, a lot of the opinions and that we get from others, uh, we hold them as truth without having the experience uh, for ourselves. And sometimes, their truth and their experience is only right for them and it doesn't mean it's right for you or the rest of the people or the rest of the world or the community that we serve right and also with the confidence i want you to be able to rely on yourself more because we've seen with the this last year the government they only can help us out for so much right uh even with your family and friends maybe they weren't able to help you out at all which could have caused some altercations in your life right and so if you're self-reliant and self-sufficient, now you only have to worry on yourself and the things that you are able to build or destroy. In doing this and becoming self-sufficient, now you feel like you can start doing anything and nothing can stop you. And once you start feeling like that, you can start giving that energy off so now the people around you can start being more self-sufficient. And that's what we wanna build in this community. We wanna build human beings that are self-sufficient and don't have to rely on others or a government to be successful. Once you start reading those type of individuals, now you can breed community change. And so that's the thing with confidence. When you have confidence, you feel secure in yourself and knowing the knowledge and experience can hold you alone. All my friends would tell me I'm one of the most confident people that they know. Once you're not concerned about what the next person thinks about you, and not in a way of I don't give a damn, whatever, but it's like you just start living and not caring what people have to say about that right then that's when you become stronger my second point is i want you to invest and know that's just not money right that's what we always think sometimes it's just researching exploring talking or just sitting still on and observing what is going on around you once you learn how to invest that that time and energy you have to learn how to balance it correctly and no you don't be upset that your balance isn't like everybody else's or you still are learning how to juggle each one individually because it gets hard, you know, because you have other life incidents that may get in the way and you have to figure out how to navigate around that. Um, but just make sure you have the confidence to keep investing that type of time in becoming better, a better individual for yourself and the people who you serve around you, right? Another thing about investing your time and energy, you cannot get upset if you're not yielding the same results as everybody around you. Everybody has different peaks and growth. You can't call it quits if your investment doesn't see the growth that you wanted in a short a period of time. Some people make investments where they see instant gratification, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be the best gratification for them. Sometimes it may take longer for that investment to show uh, the results that you want. But guess what? That result may be bigger than what somebody else may have gotten. So you have to know that it takes time to be successful. 
being a sponge and learning from everybody's experiences and knowing how to filter them so they can become better strengths for you can apply that knowledge to your life. Always investing can definitely benefit your future and for you. Uh, and last, live for yourself. Find your happy place and guard it. Like I said earlier, nobody can live for you. Be more optimistic. There's a lot of things that can drop on your desk, slide on your table, opportunities right in your face. And be optimistic because some of those opportunities may look a little, some opportunities may seem scam, but you just have to get to know the individual to understand the opportunity is a real opportunity that can definitely benefit you and others around you. My last thing is see for yourself. A lot of people give opinions as if they are true. And sometimes those experiences are just based off their, you know, their background, their beliefs, and how they just live life. And you live life, you could live life a little bit different from, from them. So you have to go see for yourself sometimes. And that's all I have. I want y'all to be safe out here. If y'all don't have a mask, click the link below. Uh, we'll take care of you. Have a few masks left. Um, and like I always say, find you, be you, love you. We just living. Keep it that way, and I'll catch y'all later. We're probably going to start doing these um, tip videos or tutorials, whatever you want to call these, once a week. Uh, as you can see, I've been investing uh, the last 45 days. We talked about that, just investing. Financial literacy, trying to, you know, have more freedom. And so, as you can see, I got these little uh, lapel mics, uh, lavalier mics. So, that was like an investment that I wanted to make to, you know, increase the brand um, and the quality. So, I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Talk to y'all later.